In this video, you will learn how to manage milestones in the Gantt chart when using Placker. We have a product development board, which could be divided into phases, and these phases can be set by using milestones. To set the milestones, double-click the title of your board and click the Milestones tab. Here, we have two milestones that we have defined before that are preparation and production, where preparation goes from February 1st to February 15th and is blue, and production goes from February 16th to February 28th and is orange. Now let's close this window and see different ways of viewing the milestone in a game chart. One of the ways is by clicking Set Layout and selecting List by Milestone. Now you see that the cards are now grouped in milestones, for example preparation and production, and the color of the cards are exactly the color of each milestone. The milestones are also represented by the bars, showing the size and the dates of the milestones depending on the cards that are assigned to it. If you want to use set layout to reflect a different information, for example, list by label, but you still want to see the milestones on your project, then you can use filter and settings and click Gantt chart visuals, selecting show milestones on top. Then scroll back up, click save changes, and now you'll see that in addition to the product development board with all of its cards, you also have a milestones list with preparation, production, and the bars represented on top of the cards. When using milestones on top, you can click the milestone bar and make changes using the panel. You can also click the plus sign next to milestone to create a new milestone by using the Gantt chart. For example, creating a launching phase milestone. Another option is to click filter and settings, uncheck show milestones on top, and check Show Milestone Markers, scroll back up, click Save Changes, and now we can see that we have a line for preparation and a line for production with its respective colors. Notice that this also depends on the dates in which the milestones end, for example, preparation on February 15th and production on February 28th. This way, you can use the layout of your board in a different attribute while still being able to view the milestones on your Gantt chart. 